Hey, I'm Ross with Sky Management. Welcome back. We're in the middle of a renovation project and we needed a new light fixture. So we decided to make our own chandelier out of old beer bottles. So as a project on a budget, we're going to see what kind of chandelier we can make out of all these bottles. So stick with us and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, for the wood portion of this light, we have to have a piece long enough and wide enough to be able to support the three concentric sets of beer bottles. Which seems easy enough, except for the fact that I didn't really have a great piece. What I found was a scrap piece of walnut veneered plywood, which we're gonna use uh, to do that because I'd cut off another piece for another project. To make the template for this, I actually took this foam board, we laid the beer bottles out on the ground and I sat on this and it punched little holes to show me kind of where it's gonna be on that. And uh, that light actually is another three rows of beer bottles beyond this. So I'm gonna have to cut this off a little bit here, but the width of it looks pretty good. Uh, may even just leave it. I'll probably rip a little bit off the end because I've measured it out to be a little shorter. So. I'll go ahead and rip it down and uh, we'll use that for the base. Now that we've got it ripped down for the correct width and length, now we just need to line up and figure out exactly how far apart these little holes are and then go ahead and punch little holes to be able to feed the wire through. So that's what I'm going to do now is evenly space the holes with the drill press and drill the holes all the way. All right, well, we've got our wood piece cut just for your own personal information. This is 13 inches wide, and we've got it run to 32 inches long. So 13 inches wide by 32 inches long, that's the base uh, rough cut. Now this 13 inches is edge to edge. When I've got my template piece, the center of this bottle over here to the center of this bottle over here is 10 inches, been measured and found wanting. So I had to go ahead and measure and put the dots in for where the other bottles are going to go for this inner concentric circle and then the center channel, which is exactly at five inches. So what I'm going to do is now go ahead and mark, mark the lines across this board. To do that, obviously 13 inches is not 10 inches, so you have to take the difference, which is three inches. So take one and a half inches off each side and that'll, that'll be the first line we're going to put. I'm going to be using pencil on this board so that we can erase it. Although I think, you know, this will end up being the top of the top of the piece. So it's not going to really matter anyway. So one and a half inches here, put a little mark and then come off of 13 down to 11 and a half and put a little mark. And then we're going to go ahead and draw lines down the length of the board. And then I'm also going to draw lines where the other bottle should go this way. And we're going to do the, do the lines this way. And then where those lines meet is where we need to drill our holes. I've gone ahead and drawn those two lines. So now in between these two lines, again, it's the 10 inches, which is what we came up with on the other. So we're going to have to do one at two and a half inches, make a mark at five inches. That's the center line. And then we got one at seven and a half inches. And we're going to come down to the other end and make a mark down here, same way. And then again, taking our straight edge, we're going to go ahead and line those guys up too. That gets our lines across that way and they're all straight. Now we need to figure out how far apart the bottles are and mark the, the lines this way. In order to drill these holes, you're not gonna need a, a real big drill bit because we're going to be feeding the wire up through and just tying it on the back side so really a smaller drill bit depending on the size of your wire you may want a bigger hole but this smaller hole here for our 22 gauge wire that we're using uh, is going to be fine so just get it set up on your drill press or you can use a handheld drill i just happen to have a drill press and just line it up and just drill your holes <laughs> All 
After our holes are drilled, I went ahead and just gave it a light sand across the top just to get rid of those lines that were on there. And then we could leave it like this. This could be a good finished product. But personally, I'm a big fan of this product right here, this antique oil finish. I'm sure you've seen me use it in some other products, projects, excuse me, this product and other projects. But it's a very simple one on, let's sit and buff off product. It really does bring out a lot of the natural colors of the wood. And you don't have to put like a polyurethane or anything over the top of it because it's an oil-based stuff that really just provides this natural hard protection and it darkens it up, especially walnut. Uh, it darkens up cherry and some of the others too. Uh, not so much poplar and, and some of the others. Cedar does pretty well. But this, uh, this walnut like this, really brings out some of that pretty greening in the walnut. And again, I'm just gonna put this on here. That's all you gotta do like that. And then just let it sit for about, I don't know, five minutes maybe. It says you can do 10, 15 minutes, but really just about five minutes. It seems like it's all it really takes to absorb in. And then just take a towel and just buff it off and it'll be a matte finish, but it'll be this darker color. And then we're ready to start tying in some bottles. We're in our camp storage room because we got to find a way to put lights inside of this uh, beer fixture. So what we've come up with is in the apartment business here, we have a lot of people that break globes on lights and it's these project source lights we get from Lowe's are pretty cheap and we've had to pull some globes to put in other people's units. So we're left with a few of these extra bases. So in order to use these light sockets, you can buy light sockets, they're fairly cheap, but since we've got these laying around, we're going to use them. So there's a little clip underneath here that holds these on and that'll disengage the socket from the actual light fixture. Get rid of the insulation on the back. Using a pair of wire cutters, we're gonna go ahead and just clip each set of these and pull them off like that. Do the same thing on the other side. You gotta leave yourself enough room that you can, uh, then that's, that's trash. Uh, you'll leave yourself enough room that you can strip these and then splice them in uh, for our project, but uh, that should leave us some of these. Now that we've got all of our spacing set out here, we found the middle, which is right here. We're going to end up drilling a hole through there to feed these cables through, but before we do that, we're going to mount these uh, sockets onto the board and space them out in between and put uh, four lights underneath this before we hang the bottles. Now, since we've retrofitted and pulled these off of uh, an existing uh, surface mount light fixture, flush mount, excuse me, we've got to be able to take this off so that it will sit, sit flat. And our, our goal is going to be to just take this little nut off that's holding this uh, bottom bracket on here, and it'll leave us a hole right there that we can then go ahead and attach, put it on here, and put a small screw into there through that hole. And that'll hold this fixture directly to the wood and then we'll take all the wires and tie them up and go through this main hole on the back side. Okay, we've secured two of these on with a screw. We've got these little screws that are going to fit through that hole in the bottom of that. So we're just going to position this where we want to have it on the other side. You're going to have to drop the screw in. And then just using a screwdriver, you got to kind of apply some pressure. You could probably use a power screwdriver on this and it would be a little bit easier. I just don't have one handy here. You don't want to crank these down too tight because the housings on these are a ceramic and it can crack or break it. So just get it in there good and snug where it's going to stay. And we're just going to mount one more over here and then we'll have all four of them and then we'll have to wire them all and feed them down through the center so we can mount them on the back. I'm going to make a hole down through the middle of our board here to mount I'm going to run all the wires through the middle of this board and then we're going to mount a junction box on the back so that we can wire it into the existing wiring where the old light fixture used to be. So these close, the close uh, sockets will fit right through here and go right into that junction box. The ones that are farther away are a little short so we're going to use some butt connectors and extend these out so that we can fit them down through the hole. To hook on these butt connectors to extend these wires, just stick it in both sides. I kind of twist it as I'm putting it in there to make sure it gets in there good. 
and then we'll crimp it down on this side hold it in there take a piece of wire for the other side Once you get it crimped in there good, give it a little tug, make sure it stays on there. And then we're going to wrap a piece of tape around it so that it looks like this. All right, we had all the wires run and then realized that was kind of dumb because you could see the wires. Some, my brother said you probably wouldn't see them once the bottles are on there, but I'm kind of anal about this kind of stuff. So I drilled a little hole next to each one of these. We're going to feed them through like this and then connect them all in the back. And that will give us a much cleaner look on the side that you could possibly see. You may not, but... I don't know. Let's just try it like this. I think it'll look a lot better. We've got all these wires pulled through. We're going to feed them into a junction box on the back. But once we put this on there, we won't be able to secure the bottles to the right height that we want to have them. So for now, temporarily, we're going to hold off on that and we're going to move on to mounting the bottles underneath. So what we're going to use for our glass hanging on the are the corona bottles and we're going to only use these corona bottles because they are going to let more of the light through if we use brown bottles then it would be pretty dim so uh, we had a bunch of these corona bottles we're going to be using 60 bottles and we talked about different ways of hanging it you know you just wrap it around wrap the wire around twist it off and hang it but then you're going to only be hanging it by one wire and it's going to kind of hang crooked like that so i didn't want to do that so what i've come up with is a way to wrap it around that it hangs from a wire on each side and when you hang the bottle it'll hang straight uh, also we're gonna have two wires running up to the top and how we're going to mount this is when we stick the wires through the hole the wires are going to come up through the hole we're going to position the bottle where we want it and then we're going to screw a screw into the hole to hold the bottle where it hangs at the proper level now, the first row all around the outside, we're gonna hang just a couple inches below the board. And then the next row in the middle, we're gonna hang down like six inches or so below the board. And then this row down the center, we're gonna hang to where the bottles will be hanging like this. And then the next one will be down like this. So that we get a three tier chandelier. So to hang this, I'm going to Start in the middle of the wire, wrap it around the bottle to the back side, and then I'm gonna get it as tight as I can and twist it one time, just a half a twist, so that it's going back the same direction it came. Then we're gonna go to the other side, and I'm gonna wrap it two times. And then I'm gonna take one side and go back around again and I'm gonna go up through the opposite loop. Pull it tight, and this one tight. And then once we've got them both through there, I'm gonna twist it, twist it up, and then we'll end up cutting all these the same length so that they'll hang evenly. Now we're going to pass all the wires through the pre-drilled holes and we're going to start with the middle row because it will be hard to do the middle row after you've done the outside one. So we'll start in the middle and work our way out. So we're going to do the longest wires first, feeding them up through from the bottom. Then once I've fed it up through the bottom, we have the board set up so that all the bottles will be the same length when we're done. And we're gonna put a sheetrock screw in here to hold the wire in place. So I'm just gonna put it in about halfway so it doesn't stick out the bottom, it just holds the wire in place. And then I'm gonna take the wire and wrap it around the top. To tie on the second layer of bottles, we've used a two by four here to get the height the same. And then when we do the third tier of bottles, we'll use two two by fours so that they'll stack up and hang higher. I've now started in on the third tier of bottles and I'm using two two by fours stacked up to get that third tier. 
And as we look through there, you should be able to see um, it'll be this high, and then that high, and then on the floor there. I've gotten to this corner bottle, and we're going to hang the chain from the corners. So I'm going to use an eye hook like this to put in this corner piece. It's going to be kind of difficult to screw in there. But we want it to be strong enough to hold the weight. With all the bottles on our chandelier ready to go, I need to be able to wire this up. So I've got a small junction box that I'm going to secure on right here in the middle. And then I'll run all the wires into here so we can wire it up. You gotta bend these chains open. Get them where you can attach them on. We went ahead and went with A-frame style, hooked them on to, to each end, put 17 links in this, which will give us a center a center link on there to then attach that onto. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other end, and we're gonna use this same length of chain here. We're not quite sure how long a chain we're going to need. That's probably way yeah, too long. this is going to be too much, but we can shorten it. Yeah, wrap it around or cut it or shorten it once we're up there. But we'll clamp that down. This will let it hang a little more evenly on there. So we'll get that other one put on there. As my brother said, he put this box mounted on there. Got all the wires pulled in there. So ready to go with there with the cover. So we're getting ready to go upstairs and hang this thing and get it wired up and show you how it looks. cut out of there got the breakers off so we can install the new one got it got it up here temporarily <laughs> clamped to a two by four but it's going to be raised up and we'll secure it up above there and then uh we're going to turn all those we face those out or in out i think the label's out i think label's out man label's out i thought get them all positioned how we want them came out pretty good uh, this is the first time we're looking at it hanging a couple of these are off a little bit. We might be able to twist the wires on them up so they can try to get them even. This row came out real good. Yeah, the, bot the bottom has got a couple of them off. The middle row came out pretty good, and the top one's got a few, but it, it won't be bad. We, we could twist them up a little bit, and we got to put the light bulbs in them. We've got some, uh, some of these little 100 watt, really bright ones there that are going to shine through there. And we did that because we installed a dimmer switch or a rheostat switch on the wall, so that will, you can adjust the, uh, adjust that there, so. We've got it all finished, wired up, secured to the ceiling, hung how we wanted it. Uh, we made most of this out of reclaimed pieces of other light fixtures and such. We spent $7 total because I bought two packs of the 22 gauge wire to hang the bottles. Uh, if you did not have the parts from other light fixtures, I think you can make this for around $20 if you had to buy the sockets and stuff to put on there. Uh, so for $20, you can build your own beer bottle chandelier.